and yeah. see you are the great 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 grandson Eighth of generation. his generation descendant of Richard Hennessy who started the firm of Hennessy in the town of Cognac in 1765 and then the funny thing is Mr. Richard was not French he was Irish he was Irish but a lot of the beginners the big business in the Cognac and the wine industry have a foreign origin because the French are great at making wonderful drinks or wonderful food, but they are not so good at selling it. You bear the name of the company. Tell me what you do for the company. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> very little. But I mean, I just visit many parts of the world and I promote Hennessy by meeting consumers, customers, uh, explaining how cognac is made and organizing tasting. You did not always work for the company, so now, now you, you know, you're, you're back in and you also have your own grapes. You grape, you... Oh yes, yeah. I'm a farmer too. You're a yes. farmer too. I'm a so, wine critic. <laughs> so you say you go around the world to explain people what is cognac, how it's done and what's, why, how you uh, uh, Haute-Vie can become cognac. Tell us the whole process of There's only a very little region in France called cognac, and there's there's some technicality about those bottles. Yes, very much, very much. Uh, the region of cognac is in southwest France, 100 kilometers due north of Bordeaux. It represents today about 75,000 hectares of white wine, mostly from a varietal known as Uni Blanc. Uh, this uh, varietal produces uh, white wine, rather acidic and low in alcohol, which uh, is completely natural and cannot keep itself because uh, the fact it's natural. And uh, so we start distilling this wine soon after the harvest. Say so we harvest in October, and at the end of October we start distilling, and we have to end the distillation uh, by the end of the following March. So we have about six months to distill, or four months. Um, now this uh, and, sorry, is you have to do two distillation, right? Double, it's a double distillation in copper stills, uh, in very old-fashioned copper stills that were designed really in 500 years ago. And uh, with naked flame, we use natural gas, and a very slow process. Uh, each distillation takes about 12 hours, and it takes about 9 liters of wine to make 1 liter of eau de vie, which is clear like crystal. This and 70% alcohol. This. Eau de vie. Uh, will be then stored and aged in French oak barrels for many, many years. And very particular oak. French oak, well, we say limousin oak, but it's a very hard work. Wood. There are two types of oaks uh, in France. One is called limousin, one is called troncé. Uh, le troncé can be used for cognac, but mostly used for wine. And the, the limousin is used for cognac. It's much harder to work. Uh, the funny thing, there was a time where some neighbors of ours who were also great cognac merchants were using français and we have all The cognac also loses gravity. The cognac breathes through the porous wood and uh, there's a kind of oxidation. And uh, the cognac marries with the wood and takes on tannins and color, etc. And also then, it's a two year process, minimum of two years to qualify for the appellation. Well, sort of more free than two, yes. Two and a half, yeah, yeah, say. Because and, it's and, the and way it's calculated. It's, and then it's 70%, uh, percent, Eau de Vie becomes 40% when it's. 70% uh, alcohol. Oh, yeah, it becomes 40% when uh, it's aging process. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, it, we help it also. I mean, uh, cognac started at 70, loses gravity, it is true, but uh, it takes about 100 years to go from 70 to 40 naturally. And the cognac we drink here is 40 or 43, uh, and this is, uh, of course, we add a bit of. Uh,
there's still water to So what do we have here? Uh, we have to... We have to say that uh, there, there are about 200 producers of cognac uh, in the cognac region, and you are the number one. You, NEC has 40% shares of the market worldwide. A bit more, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, but more. It's good news. Good news for you. So tell us what we have here. In those well, here you have a huge size bottle. We will start uh, here, which is called Hennessy Black. It's for the. It's only for the U.S. and it's a cognac, which is for the night. Missy Black, the cognac of the night. Um, it can be, of course, consumed on its own, but it produces great cocktail like this one. And this is with uh, cranberry juice and uh, grapefruit juice. It's a wonderful cocktail. Uh, there's a lot of cognac consumed as a long drink. You have to remember that cognac, when it was created, was meant to be consumed as a long drink to replace wine. This one is a Hennessy VS. It's the most popular cognac in the world. It's really the basic Hennessy, which everybody loves, including me. Uh, so and, so uh, how old is this one? When it well, it's a blend of uh, 40, 50 different cognac between 3 to 7 years old. How old is the cognac depends on the youngest OG that you're putting into yes, exactly, the blend, right? Exactly. It's the one you can put. Right, yeah. But uh, well, you ask me, I tell you. Of course, it could only be three years old. It could be made of three years old cognac, but it would be a bit different. So, this one here is a called the Hennessy VSOP. We started to make uh, VSOP in 1817. It was a special order from the Prince Regent of England, uh, who became George IV, uh, who, want, who requested a special blend for himself and we created and we marked the barrel VSOP that is super old pale cognac and so I think nobody has uh, contradicted us when we say that we are the inventor of VSOP and uh, then we have Hennessy XO which was created for my great great grandfather Maurice Hennessy in 1870 uh, it's uh, first really old cognac on the market and the letters XO is coined uh, Letters XO, and now I think a lot of things are called XO, but the original XO is Hennessy's XO, made today as it was in 1870, by blending together about 100 different cognac, each between 10 to 30 years. And then we talk about one we don't have here, the Ellipse. Oh, no, we don't have Ellipse. The Ellipse was done only for the year 2000. It was no, but Richard Hennessy we don't have here. We don't have Paradis. Uh, these are qualities which are sought after. Uh, they are in the best uh, liquor stores here in this country or in the best uh, bars. They are cognac which contain in the blend some vintages of the late 19th century. So now we're, we're here, we're in Beverly Hills at Christian and we're going to have not a wine pairing but a cup. Cognac pairing dinner, so yes, it's absolutely. Uh, hopefully, I will have a driver when I leave here. Are you sure? <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you.